friends. Welcome to your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast. I am meteorologist Jeff Matthews. Don't forget you can get it live on Periscope, but you just need a Twitter account. You download Periscope on your mobile device and follow CNY Jeff Matthews. Three weather headlines to go with the three goals of weather teaming. More rain. Most of it will come on Tuesday. The clouds are going to linger into Wednesday morning, and the temps are going to average near average, which looks like this. We're down to 78 now. Down to 78. The average high gets up close to 82 in the middle of summer, but now we're down to 78. So we'll be at or slightly above on through Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday, it will turn warmer for a few days. Here's the weather setup. Hot and humid to the south and east of these storms and frontal boundaries. So that includes Pennsylvania, most of it, and New Jersey as well to the Big Apple. That high is really tough to dislodge. And the winds around it are circulating this storminess around its periphery. To the north and west of those storms, it's cooler and drier, at least when we're talking, you know, on a scale here, cooler. Still August. However, these are two separate storms that came from one that moved across the Gulf and then took a turn to the north, and so those are going to wind up moving through on the day on Tuesday. Well, actually, late Monday night, and again on Tuesday. So there's two main thrusts of rain that's going to come with the first one with the warm front moving back into our backyard Tuesday morning and afternoon, and then Tuesday evening into overnight. This storm will follow hot on its heels and bring a few more showers and rumbles of thunder as well. A look at the radar from Sunday shows it was really more or less one storm that kind of broke off into two as it took that turn to the north and then eventually to the east. But it doesn't really matter as far as you're concerned. It just means it's going to be soggy basically from Monday night overnight after midnight into early Wednesday morning. So here is a look at the weather setup. The front reverses direction comes back at a, as a warm front. As it does so, the storm propagates along and enhances the rainfall Tuesday into Tuesday night. Both areas of lower pressure move through. And then Wednesday, we should start off with early clouds, but gradual clearing. Meanwhile, Monday, hey, what about that, huh? Look at that. No rain, 1353 on daylight, and the record high, 100 degrees. So it can get that hot in the middle of August. Don't forget to check out on cmyweathertainment.com, my sponsors, they want to offer you great deals on products you already use or things you can't find anywhere else. And don't forget, where other banks have their branches, Bank of Utica has its roots. We want to thank them for their continued sponsorship. For Tuesday, weather-wise, soggy, almost a washout, almost, meaning almost an entire day of rain. So rain, occasional thunder, and a high of 82 degrees. Tuesday night, the rain lessens as you go through the overnight hours. So if you put your rain gauge out, you'll get more early than late. Early clouds on Wednesday, and then clearing up with a high of about 80 degrees. And then the five-day forecast, again, Tuesday wet, Wednesday clearing. Thursday, it'll cloud back up for much of the day once again, but rain-free. Just kind of a mostly cloudy day. And then Friday and Saturday look like a nice stretch of weather. So once the rain ends very early on Wednesday morning before sunrise, before sunup, it should brighten up and stay rain-free for the next four days at least until Saturday night. So now, remember now. Whether the forecast is good or bad, and whether the weather turns out to be your liking or not, so whether it's this way or this way, it's always still up to you to find a way to make it a great day.